Hello, you poor bastards. This is T Jope One Two Three here, back with another unboxing for you, and this time it's of the Final Fantasy Fifteen Original Soundtrack. Now I know what you're thinking. Why is a soundtrack this fucking big? Well, because this is the limited edition of said soundtrack, and I bought it from Amazon Japan, which you know I can import from. Ships to U.S. Costs like 10 bucks, but yeah. And it's uh, cheaper than the uh, Square Enix Online Store where I got this for about 80 bucks, 85 bucks. Um, they're charging 120 with shipping included. And because of that, I got a special CD with um, unreleased trailer music or or something to that effect. So anyway, let's crack this thing open and uh, see what we get inside. Okay, we got the tape off and the first thing we have is the Amazon bonus CD that I just mentioned. Really nothing to it except um, for uh, that poor bastard being on the cover of the CD. His, um, his name does not come to me right now even though I am currently playing in it as I speak. Well, not literally, but... I'm at chapter 13, the dreaded chapter that everyone's going, Oh no, the story is broken, and I kind of agree with them. But, um, yeah. On the back is nothing but the uh, data side of the CD. But, thankfully enough, the track names are in English, so I guess Square Enix Music probably anticipated that a lot of uh, Western gamers will be buying the soundtrack, or at least English-speaking, spe uh, people would be buying the soundtrack because even if you buy it on the uh, Square Enix online store in North America it's still a Japanese import CD but anyway I gotta give it to the uh, Japanese companies who actually make these premium packaging materials they feel really nice to run doing it's kind of my it's kind of Apple-esque in a way and, as you might not notice in the video, it's separated into two packages. And, uh, or... Actually, no, it's not separated into two packages. And once we get the premium plastic wrapping off, inside, we shall reveal... da 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 And, um... Book of some kind, which, um... Artwork, as you might ima imagine, is done by Yotasika Amano. Personally, I'm not a big fan of his artwork, especially not the older Final Fantasies, where the character art in those games is vastly different than the in-game sprites. And, uh... Yeah, there's just interviews with the music team, including composer uh, Yoko Shimomura, who you might remember for her work on Kingdom Hearts. And, of course, the most of the interview text is in Japanese. And there's the track listing. Which, it better not come up in Japanese on the discs. And we have more to unbox. I'll put that to the side. And as you can see, we have Lady Lunafreya, the wonderful, she's pretty. Been recording pretty much every scene with her on my uh, PC with the PS4 version. And on the other side is Noctis and his grotesque boy band. And I uh, believe that might be it for the inside of this. I don't know, but it's a really nice box. And inside we have, or I guess it opens up this way, a CD. Well, not not just a CD, but it's a Blu-ray audio format. As you can see, Blu-ray, which also includes MP3 files on the disc. So if you own a Blu-ray drive, or well, actually more than that in a second, you can actually um get these off the CDs without. 
doing some kind of special ripping work. And there's some, um, some uh, instructions, all of it's in Japanese. Square Enix Japanese membership card, or points code, I should say. But anyway, even if you don't have a compatible Blu-ray drive, actually, I shouldn't say compatible, pretty much any Blu-ray drive will work, like the one I have for ripping my Blu-ray animes. Don't kill me, please. Um, you can uh, actually transfer the MP3 files over the network, like over a PS4 or Xbox One. And um, what else do we have in here? It's the Final Fantasy XV bonus disc. Which is only included in the uh, limited edition of the soundtrack. And first off, we have the original soundtrack bonus disc. If we can focus, thank you. When I believe this is the uh, CD that. Oh, no, it's the piano arrangement. Composed by Yoko Shimomura. See? There's artwork of the uh, capital city, which I agree is probably one of the prettiest things I've seen since playing The Witcher 3. And it really makes me wish I could um, take screenshot or have a photo mode that doesn't rely on Prompto so much. For many reasons. And we also have... Um... The uh, bonus disc music collection that contains all the music that you can listen to in the regalia as well as um, on your in-game portable mp3 player which is comprised of over 250 tracks from some of the older Final Fantasy games as well as the rest of the Final Fantasy um, 15 universe i.e. just Justice Musters 5, um, King's Glaive movie, and uh, Brotherhood, the anime. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to open these up. So this is the uh, special piano arrangement CD, which apparently was put in um, incorrectly slash upside down because this is the track listing. Focus, focus, focus. Focus, focus. Well, at least they include um, both the Japanese and the um, English track names. And yeah, so there you go. I believe it's supposed to actually go like, I mean, to be back in, well, I don't know. Japan does read from the, uh, right to left after all, so I don't know. And last but not least, here is the Final Fantasy original soundtrack, uh, bonus disc, and special uh, regalia music collection. And uh, the first disc we have, or at least I hope it's the first disc. Well, never mind, I can feel the other one, sort of. I think. Is the, uh... Is the Blu-ray audio disc that... Well... Is there one? Is there another one? Better not be gypped. Um. Okay, uh, there we go. There's the artwork. Um, I thought there was another music CD that comes with, um, you know, the theme song of the game by Florence and the Machine, but that might be included on, uh, one of these other Blu-rays. So I know there are like four bonus discs or something, but anyway, let's take a look inside this booklet. Okay, um... There's the songs from 1, 2, 3... Final Fantasies 1 through 12. So yeah, even the even 11 is representative here. Actually, no, 14 is too. As well as Dissidia... And it's um, Expansion, Justice Monsters 5, and Kingsclave. So, I guess not Brotherhood. Um, now, what's number 22? Because uh, it says in Japanese here, but yet... 
It, I guess it doesn't have enough light to focus. Oh, well. I'll insert it in the video somewhere. Maybe I can read it. Oh, it's, uh, Final Fantasy Type-0 HD. Now, does that say that anywhere here? No, but anyway, what that was, it's an upscaled, um, port of the PSP game, which was Japan only, except the HD port was, uh, brought over to, um, Western countries too, on PS4 and Xbox One, and not Vita. And it also came with the uh, first Final Fantasy XV demo titled Episode Dusuke, which had the terrible, terrible Prince Noctis voice actor. Oh, God, it was bad. <laughs> but, um, anyway. And uh, just one last thing. Um, underneath the uh, soundtrack Blu-ray um, lies all the uh, technical specs and copyrights and all that stuff and some kind of QR code. But interestingly enough, it supports Blu-ray Disc Live. I wonder what that's about. I mean, I know what BD Live is. It's like where you get like updated like commentaries and stuff from the internet. But what I don't know it's get is what it's doing on a Blu-ray audio disc. Oh well. Guess I'll plug it into my PS4 and find out. And just as another quick side note, um, the theme song indeed is included on the um, original soundtrack Blu-ray. Um, so just worth pointing out, I just noticed that now on the um, on the bottom copyright text. And that'll do it, folks. This has been the unboxing of the Final Fantasy XV original soundtrack limited edition. And as for final thoughts, um. I kind of wish that they had included any, like, in-development music tracks that, um, they had made for back when the game was called Final Fantasy vs. 13 and it was on PS3 and not the, um, Xbox One and or PS4. And I think, as if it wasn't obvious enough, and they actually stated this themselves, this is actually the biggest, um, soundtrack release in the company's history. And it's kind of, and I guess the same kind of goes for the game itself too, which I have for PS4. I downloaded it, downloaded it from PSN, so that's how I got it. Just got the regular um, game, no season pass or anything yet. But anyway, um, this is Tjob123, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and by the way, this is my new place. Sorry if it's a bit messy, but yeah, this is where I'm gonna be doing all my unboxings uh, from now on, or most, and hopefully other videos too. Anyway, and if you liked this video, then please make sure to do all the things that most YouTubers will tell you to do. Also, if you want to stay up to date on all the random things that I have to talk about, such as rants and other things that are too small to fit into a video in my opinion, then please make sure to follow me on Twitter as well.